We are going to visit Rod Potter's Century Game Park in Walkworth, Ontario. It is a bison park. Rod Potter's farm boasts 75 bisons and 18 elks. Incredible. Not lower your head to sigh. Was it your pursuit past the reason why you stand as brave and still you cry? Made of beast and shoulders strong, your mystical eyes tell a story long. Since foot on your native land we trod to reap the grain and to turn the sod, in ignorance rules of humanity we fail to abide slaughtering you in the name of genocide. Looking back in vain, The bison species is North America's largest land animal that dominated the continent from time from the time of the Ice Age until the coming of the Europeans. The Aboriginal people found the abundant supply of bison a very good reason to stay on this side of the bridge. These animals would provide them with food, shelter, tools and fuel for thousands of years. Over time, the Aboriginal people came to regard the bison as their special gift from the Great Spirit. In Canada, it is estimated there are almost 2,000 bison producers who own over 250,000 bison. Bison producers are concentrated in the western provinces British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, with less than 5% from Ontario and the east.
Bison rangers have faced challenges similar to the cattle industry in the last decade. In May 2003, when BSE was found in a cow in Alberta, borders were closed to all live ruminant animals leaving Canada, including bison. By August 2003, restrictions had been eased and the United States began accepting boneless meat from cattle and other ruminants less than 30 months old. By early 2005, the ban was lifted for all meat from animals younger than 30 months of age. Then you'll spread your wings And you'll take the sky and here it says, farming is life and death, it just has to be.